There you go, Holly. You can guard that. Okay, so coming into the month, the energy you're bringing into the month is Three of Swords. Some kind of trio, some kind of heartbreak of some kind of sort. Um, this could be a realization that you have in regards to an aspect of yourself which you aren't happy about learning and you are bringing it in from April because you learned it in April and you are bringing it into May. What is blocking you is Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. They are very sharp with their words. They know how to use them. She is capable of helping out family, friends, very nurturing in that aspect with her words, her communication. And this is probably somebody around you that maybe caused this hurt because they are definitely influencing your month of May. The foundation of the month is that you had a rebirth, a realization, and it's making you look at things differently and change, change maybe some old beliefs that no longer suit you. Your recent past is there was Princess of Cups reversed. There was a message of love that has been blocked that could be what caused that heartbreak is this love that isn't, right now it's not time for it. It could be just postponed until divine time, until the timing is right. There's something else that needs to be done before this love can be readdressed. You consciously are aware of the passion that you have, the spirituality, the drive, the desire, Prince of Wands is an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo sign. If you don't have these traits, this passion and desire could be somebody with that sign around you that is very strong and passionate in regards to you and your situation. Subconsciously, you are looking at how you will be able to help somebody that needs help or how you could possibly get help there's this give and take that isn't happening right now and you subconsciously are a little stressed on it you want this to happen either for yourself or for the other person you need it to happen you need this help this support this charity this understanding you subconsciously are aware of it the advice for you is to, with the lovers reversed, is to take some time out to release that, that bond and to have some space in regards to the situation. Sometimes people need the space to get the clarity of what they need or want. The potential is that you're going to look at the situation and think about walking away but you don't need to walk away because you really need to look at it before you walk away you might feel like walking away right now but this is something that you are really going to miss if you walk away so you need to look at that and for you I'm going to have to draw clarification cards on some of these but for you your leadership right now is that you aren't getting your wishes fulfilled and so you aren't as fulfilled as you wish you were it's making you a little reserved saddened depressed your environment is that you do have a strong family strong unit around you from the old to the young to the pets. They are strong, caring, compassionate. 
and your hopes and fears as temperance. You hope to reach that balance between your hopes and fears, between this situation, this loving, compassion, nurturing situation. You don't want to give too much or receive too much or lose too much. And the final outcome is even though your, your passion, spirituality is blocked right now, just means that you need to work on yourself. You need to take some time out. It's just like an artist isn't capable of being really creative if all their time is demanded of them and they don't have that time to go inwards and reflect and create, you too, you need to take that time to yourself to reflect, to create. Release some of those burdens that you are juggling. Maybe give them back to the person they deserve, the ones that aren't yours. Do you really need to try to juggle those, all of those. This is two of pentacles reversed. And your intuition is being blocked with the high priestess. You're not listening to yourself, your inner being. This might have just happened before the month end, so that's why it's carrying through most of the month. Let's get some clarification on this with the Gilded Reverie. Lenormand cards. Let's first look at, whoa, let's first look at, should we look at, uh, this, what is influencing you? What is, what is blocking you, influencing you for the month? So it is, it is, it's the house, the sun, and the suitor. So it is, has to do with your home life, having clarification, happiness, and your suitor, your romantic partner. So that's what's crossing you. There could have been some kind of fight, some kind of heartbreak, some kind of situation that happened in regards to that. Let's look at your potential. First, let's look at the advice. You have the lovers reversed for the advice. Let's look at the advice. All right, so you have the anchor the key, and then the mice. So for the advice, it says the lover's reverse, where you need to give some space. There's some kind of burden, but you will get an understanding. Something will be disclosed to you. It will be unlocked. You will be informed of what's going on. And it's something that has the potential of infesting your home life. It has the potential of being like these mice and going through and tainting it and infesting it. So instead of doing seven of pentacles and walking away, let's find out some clarification on that. Yes. See, with the park the lilies, and the sun, the star. In a, in, you need to go out. You need to, instead of walking away, you need to focus on yourself. You need to go out, um, spend some time probably with friends, go out to a concert, do something active, and experience some healing, some nurturing from your environment, your friends, your family, and it will bring to some clarity in regards to whatever this energy is that you brought into the month with you. Um, we could do one other clarification. 
How about on the Nine of Cups? This is you, your leadership right at this time. Let's have some clarification in regards to that. Hmm. Okay, so around you, you have the the building. This is like an institute. You have the birds, and you have the whip. So around you, there is the institute. I usually think of like a place of work or maybe school or church or some kind of formal situation. It could actually even be the internet because that is a structure. But there's a lot of communication going on, and I consider it to be kind of like gossip, which is ruining at this time. It is hurtful and painful. Whatever is going flying around, it could be work, it could be school, or it could be the internet, is a lot of gossip that you are in the middle of right now. That is your leadership right now. You are in the middle of this. And it's hurtful. It's very painful. That could be whatever you are bringing in with you for the month. Let's do one last clarification on the outcome. Okay, clarification on the outcome for the month. All right. All right, so you have the stairs, the dog, and the snake. So you have choices you need to make. And you have a loyal friend around you, but you need to watch out because this friend may not be as loyal as you think they are. With the snake, they may be being very vindictive and very bitter. That is the outcome for the month. You need to make choices. I suggest going inward, finding clarification in regards to whatever these rumors are, this gossip that's flying around. And right here we have the park. And the park talks about you going out, networking, going to, to events, being out in public, getting out and about and around. And what led you to this, all this activity, being out and about and networking and socializing, is the second card and the fourth card. You have the sun and also the dog. With the sun, you are starting to get your mojo back. You have a lot of charisma, a lot of um, confidence, energy, and some good friends that are standing by your side. If we look at the first card, the snake, and the last card, the whip, we could sum up the reading as, at first, you were having difficulties, probably at the beginning of May, but once you got to mid-May, around the 15th, you started focusing on your work. Sometimes this card represents sexual activity, too. So you could be focusing on your work or your sexuality with another specific person. What led up to this networking, this going out and about, was that you were having difficulties. Maybe it was temptation. There was something that was confusing you and complicating things. But it was in a good way, though. With the sun, it was a positive temptation. So it could be a new, new romantic interest. Your likely outcome, uh, I think it is a new romantic interest because your likely outcome is a loyal friend, a loyal comrade that you play hard with, either sexually or you could even do sports with them, be very active with them. Maybe you met them through work. If we look at the mirrored cards, one and three and three and five, first one and three, you used to have difficulties networking, doing that socializing, being out and about. But the park, it looks like you got good at it. You worked hard 
at your networking skills and you got really good at it.